Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Bogeyman Golf Podcast, hosted by Michael and Johnny. I'm delighted to say that we are here on site at Ramon Castle for a preview of the Women's Irish Open. It's going to be later on this summer. I'm here now joined by Aideen Walsh and Sarah Byrne. Guys, how are you? Flying it. Flying it. <laughs> all good. good. Happy to, to be here. Um, let's have a little chat, first of all, Sarah, about... Your, your college season, you're only just back in the country in a couple of weeks. Yep. You were just at the NCAAs. Mm-hmm. Um, how, how was that experience? It uh, hot. Honestly, it was, the NCAAs was probably one of the best golfing experiences I've had. Honestly, it was... Um, what makes it so special? Like, we'll get into it properly, but yeah. the why? You've had a lot of golfing experiences yeah, so far. Yeah, I think just the way the tournament is run and like the way, how special it is. Like This is the final tournament in NCAA golf. Yeah. Um, I think just knowing that you're there, it's all the best players and... Uh, you're qualifying to get there, you know what all your hard work has paid off. It's kind of the end of the road for the year with college golf, so knowing that you made it there is just a very special feeling. So you mentioned that you get to qualify for it. Mm-hmm. You had a fairly dramatic story in terms of qualifying. <laughs> you were meant to be coming home, or yeah. you had a flight booked to be coming home. Yeah. And uh, you, thankfully, you missed the flight. Yes, thankfully. So basically, like as I was going to regionals as an individual, this year was the hardest year for your individuals to get to regionals, as there was only one spot instead of usually two or three, So, mm-hmm. like past years. So... Going into the week, uh, it was pretty like I was at the Palm Beach Regional in uh, in Florida, so it was a pretty stacked region. Um, so what I usually do is I book my flight for just after regionals, just in case I don't make it. And then um, if I make it to nationals, I'll push back. But uh, after after qualifying for af- uh, getting the for the spot for nationals, um, by the time I'd finalised that the spot was mine. Um, it was check-in time for my flight, so I wasn't able to actually push it back, so I lost my flight. But honestly, best reason to lose a flight. I was going to say, it's a good reason to miss a flight. Yeah. Um, so then how was how was the NCAA championships? Like, Michael over here has just a, the biggest crush on Roseanne's swing ever. I think oh, everyone probably, does. And probably Roseanne <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's class. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I said the last day, unbelievable swing. Perfect swing, honestly. How was, the, how was that tournament? Um, just... Knowing that you're there and the way it's run, uh, the way the golf course is set up, you know you're at kind of a major event. Um, just having that experience of um, playing that sort of golf course and under that pressure, like you're you're there, you're not just there just because you're there, you're there to compete. Like I think yeah. everyone wants it to be a national championship and hoist that trophy on the last day. So um, having that bit of pressure, but knowing that all your hard work is paid off as well, you got to just to enjoyed a lot you get a lot of mementos for it you're around the best players there is in college golf so just being around that atmosphere is something very special and being from cork you were right the weather was perfect oh for you just perfect like 40 degrees weather, yeah. not a cloud in the sky in the middle of the desert just the ideal conditions just like back home just like back home <laughs> exactly um was there many people from from your university there uh just myself just, yourself. just myself how how does that feel obviously like a lot of pride in qualifying as a as an individual but then also like there are, there is you know a lot of a lot of stake there's a team the, the team side of the tournament as well wake forest obviously came out on top of that lauren walsh was the uh, the anchor on that very much so Ser- seriously impressive <laughs> performance what's that like being you know the the solo from the college um honestly it was it was fine until I got there and I realised it was the NCAA tournament is tailored around being in a team and yeah. winning the team title and the individual is just a little bit on the side so obviously it was an amazing way to get there like For as sure. an individual it just shows how um, how I was playing and how strong of a season I was having but um, to be there without my team was a little bit disappointing it would have been really nice to um, be able to have that experience with Share your teammates because yeah, like sure. that's what everyone else is doing there with your teammates or enjoying it and having fun and being able to compete for that team title because in the end of the day that's what like the individual is, the title is great but winning a team title is just so much better when you're in college golf yeah no it's a seriously impressive achievement to get there especially as, as the solo person from your college it's uh yeah it was great well done well done yeah. you're, you're back here now to to compete against ad and a few of the am- right. amateur circuits around <laughs> ireland ad how are you good good now not as exciting a few months as sarah <laughs> i don't know about that i think you're, I think you're <laughs> selling yourself short there how has uh how have the last few events been? We caught up with you briefly when you're mid round at Woodbrook. Oh there. yeah, Woodbrook, yeah, yeah. How have I you sw- been? Yeah, yeah, it's been good. Um, this year I've been playing mostly international stuff. Yeah. So it is nice. Like obviously a lot of the girls go to America, but if someone does want to stay in Ireland, there is a circuit there to play. So yeah. Like I played Portuguese, Spanish, 
and then we have like urinations, hexagonals. It's nice that there's an option for players who want to stay in Ireland to play. Like obviously, I didn't go to college in America. I, I'm a primary school teacher. Yeah, so you got it. You, you got the job that I gets in the way. Of yeah. The golf. So I came to the golfing circuit late, but I've done the the main European tournaments, I suppose, Spanish amateur, Portuguese, and the last two events was uh, Saint Rule and Irish stroke playing Woodbrook. Yeah. So obviously caught up to you guys there. And so how's the season been then? You've been happy with things so far? Yeah, I've been yeah, happy enough. Uh playing pretty solid. Everything's kinda of trending in the right direction, so looking forward to British amateur now and then the Irish close. It seems to really have been trending in the right direction for you really since last summer, Women's Irish Open last year here at Dramona Castle. Obviously not necessarily the week that you might have wanted. Uh just missing out on the weekend, but like what an event and like well done on your performance as well. You, you you gave it everything on the Friday. Yeah, it was amazing, to be fair. Just to have the opportunity to play an Irish Open in County Clare was just mad. Like it's. I think after Leona, you definitely had the biggest yeah. crowds following you. Like, definitely the, the home favourite. What's yeah. that like? There was a big crowd there. It was kind of funny looking at... You're trying to concentrate, but like you're having a little peek as well. It's like people who would have... like watch me grow up playing golf in Woodstock and then members from here and members from La Hinch. It was just really special to be out playing. Like I never really thought I'd get to do anything like that. So it was just unbelievable. And then the way it was run and like you, you saw it, it was just such a great week. Yeah, I think, I think from being not on the circuit or not existing for 10 years to coming back with such a bang that it did. It was, uh, I think the, w the women's tour and the ladies European tour seems to be in a pretty good space, or at least this event seems to be in a great p position. Yeah, like they put so much work into it, like from Jerome's point of view and then the LET and Golf Ireland to build this event again, because it was missing for so long. But like the way it went last year, like it's just, it was nothing but positive feedback from everybody, like from locals to like the tournament director was so happy with how it went and all the pros, they were just amazed by Jerome and itself and the event. Eamon O'Donnell, we were chatting to him before we uh, sat down here to record. He said that you've been wearing your fo feet, footprints into the putting green. You haven't left since last summer. Yeah. What is the, <laughs> what, what's the course playing like? How, what's it like? A lot of work, work has been done to it now. There's been a lot of investment. There's a lot of investment put in last year and more again this year. So for me that played here last year, what can I expect? There's been a few changes to a couple of holes. Yeah, I remember last year we played and there was, there was a lot of changes before the Irish Open last year. Yeah. Not as many changes this year, but there is a few. There's a few new tee boxes. A big change is there's a new bunker on 11, which you'll see when you go out there. But like the courses, the condition wise, it's the best it's ever been. And obviously with the weather we're having now, it's very firm. And they have the rough a little bit uh, thicker than last year. So oh, it'll be interesting to see how you get on with that. Delightful. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in that most of the time then. <laughs> <laughs> and then You're living in that way. And that new bunker, I'll end up in that somehow. <laughs> so so I, I have great feedback for them. Okay. <laughs> Michael's never played Tremelon before, so what what can you expect, guys? Yeah. You're probably the one to ask, to be fair, Aideen. I mean, it's a lovely, it's a great course. Um, I don't know what, like, when I say Tremelon. It's one of, the, one of the longer courses on the on the LET circuit, or at least it did play that Yeah, the first few holes are yeah. difficult. Like, you just need to kind of stick with it. I think most players struggled with one, two, and three. Um, but it's Not a gentle him. handshake at all. I got it. <laughs> no, <laughs> the first few It has to be said, it is not a nice introduction. No. It is, those first few holes are really tough. And the greens are quite narrow and some of them are elevated, so they're hard to hold, especially when it's so firm now. But um, I actually started on the back line for my first round last year, which is quite nice. <laughs> 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 Might request that. If I <laughs> <laughs> Might request that again for next year. For, for people watching, we have two athletes here who currently <laughs> aren't invited. And you know. Um, there's a few criteria that you guys can, can meet now of the next few events to qualify for this event. If you the winner of the close now. Uh, so is that one event that you guys are both eyeing up? Yeah, of course. Obviously, um, I want that invite for sure. But I was going back to the close, having won it before. It's definitely an event that I always love playing. And it's the histor history behind it. And just knowing that you're playing in an Irish event again, it's, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a fun week. Did you have any many memories growing up? of watching the women's Irish Open obviously you would have been very young when very it was young. there um honestly not that much but one that actually stuck out was when the Solemn Cup was on in Clean Castle yeah, in 2011 and I was there for the full week and obviously all the best players in the world were there and that was that's a memory that stuck out that actually I was there and I was like this, this is what I want to do with the with what I want to like for my life and I want to get into golf properly and compete and I'm hoping that, that that's going to be the same for young girls coming up and watching the Irish Open too here what age are you then, 2011? Uh, 10. 
so you would have been very new to golf. That's very yeah. young to know that this is what you want to yeah, do. Yeah, I, I saw on this. Honestly, playing Salem Cup has been a dream for me since I was ten, and that's what I'm working towards. And you, you know, golf is a very uh, fickle sport, so you never know what's going to happen. But you know, that's what we're all working towards. That's amazing. Yeah, the Salem Cup this year, I think it's going to be one of the biggest events of the of the year. Obviously, it's a huge, huge spectacle in itself, but I think it's going to give us probably a bit more competition than the than the Ryder Cup this year. To be honest. I think it'll be great. Oh, yeah. Um, so, any kind of last minute nerves now? So, we're going to go play a match. Uh, we're going <laughs> to play, play, play a nine hole match and then we'll play the, the last nine once you have to head off 18. Any last minute nerves? How are you feeling? Oh, the mind games had started the minute we met in. <laughs> in this game. This is, you can forget about the close nerves. And this is, this is <laughs> the <laughs> biggest. This, this is, is it. <laughs> there'll be, be cameras on. There'll be like, real nerves will be coming in. That's a good question. How are you to cameras are you now obviously with college golf there must be a few events that are televised there's a few the major major ones are um like the final day of the ncaa stroke play yeah. and then obviously the match play for teams was all televised but there's one or two tournaments that i play that was been televised but honestly it's when you're focused in don't really notice them too much you're in the zone you're in the zone <laughs> very good um listen thanks guys for having a chat with us it's a nice nice brief one um, Shall we go warm up, hit a few balls, and say, let's go ruin their day? Lovely stuff. <laughs> 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 On the tee, Jack Nicholas. This is the minute the millions around the world have waited for. We will allow you to enjoy all of this. They are dancing in the pubs of Dublin. Harrington with an ace. And we have a shining star at sunset. Rory continues his run to greatness. The return to glory.